So I went viral again. And this time we got Scissor's attention. Huh. Hop in the booth, I only say what is true. She don't own no Jimmy Choo. What up though, J Nation? It's your boy Jay Pitts, and you are watching J Nation TV. Thank you to all my returning subscribers. For those of you that are first timers here, I'm an independent rap artist out of Detroit. Here on YouTube, I like to do an array of things. If you check out my channel, I've done skits, I've done emoji videos. It's kind of all over the place, but we getting it together. I recently took a trip to the motherland, but one of my biggest focuses is just showing you guys my life, documenting everything from all sides, and kind of taking you guys down the journey of some of the decisions that I've made in my career, and some of the things that are happening right now, leading to a path to success. High points, low points, all of that, you're gonna get it all. So if you're here for the first time, you might as well subscribe because my analytics been showing me that most of y'all watching, <laughs> not subscribe, so we need to fix that. Join J Nation today. So today I wanna talk about a viral video that's been, uh, of mine, that's been going around uh, on Instagram. I've been getting tag after tag after tag from all of these black pages. And when I say black, I'm talking about black focus. It's all black topics, it's African centered, which, really is pretty cool because that's kind of on brand with some of the things that I've been talking about lately. I just uh, came back from a month stay in Tanzania, East Africa, and uh, I released a project at the end of the year called Highly Melanated. So it couldn't be any more proper that the video that went viral is going viral. Now I've been viral on TikTok before for many reasons. I've done so many different things on TikTok in an effort to bring attention to who I am and what it is I do. Some things have been completely accidental and I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that, going viral for a video that you didn't expect to go viral and it's like, uh, okay. Um, but I've gone viral for a few things that have made sense, thank goodness. And this is one of them that has and it has started a very positive conversation, in my opinion, uh, between the black diasporans and the Africans on the continent. And I don't think the timing could have been any better uh, based on everything that I just talked about that I've been into lately. And uh, also I'm a part of Black TikTok, which is uh, a group of creators on TikTok that are all together headed by TikTok. We have our own like office hours to access uh, people to help us with uh, content strategy. We collaborate together. We have our own events. TikTok sends us stuff in the mail. Pretty dope community if you ask me. And I think it's dope that TikTok has created uh, a sector of black creators that they want to prioritize and highlight. I think it's fire. Some people hate on it, but um, you know, you can't, you know, beg for perfection. They trying, you know what I'm saying? They trying. Better than uh, a lot of these other platforms, I'm just saying. So the video that went viral, I'll show you guys. Basically, it was me doing a skit uh, between a uh, black American and an African from the continent. And uh, it highlighted the stereotypes that both sides typically tend to believe about each other. Here, I, I'll just show you the skit. It's better if you just watch it. So you So the point I was trying to make in that skit that is that if we don't unite as black people around the world and set aside our, our quote unquote cultural differences and realize that the world sees us all as one thing anyway, if we don't let the tribal whatever stuff, if we don't, uh, if we let that keep us separated from each other and unifying, then we're going to continue to get exploited by the same uh, people. So I used an example of Europeans stealing vibranium, uh, you know, kind of like the plot of the Black Panther movie, but as we know, that is a huge historical representation of what's happened, you know, uh, to black people everywhere. And the bigger point I was trying to make through, uh, through humor was that while we are arguing about things that don't matter and, and, and saying this person does this or this person, person has this or doesn't have this, while we're distracted, other nations are stealing and exploiting our wealth and our resources. 
whether that is the entertainment industry that I'm in, whether that is the actual resources of the continent or whatever it might be. So the uh, goal and desire of that skit was in order for us to like, yo, let's stop this self-hate and the miseducation of each other. Let's unify, figure out what's dope about each other, learn from each other and grow together and figure out what we can do as a people no matter the cultural, linguistic differences, all that, um, figure out what we need to do to truly grow and to tap into the potential of our ancestry and our motherland, period. I spent a month in Tanzania living there and uh, I know East and West Africa are completely different culturally. Uh, I've, I've talked to some uh, uh, Tanzanians and East Africans that were like, yo, when I go to West Africa, it's culture shock, you know, and it's vice versa, apparently, from West to East. Um, you know, and I took some time. I learned some Swahili, you know what I'm saying? Mambo, VP, Nina Furaha, Kukutana, Na Weiwei. You know, I'm still trying to get my, you know, my uh, pronunciation down and all that. But, you know, I got to, you know, get it how I live and learn what I learned. And uh, it's helped me to navigate uh, where I was living in Tanzania for a month with my family, get the fair prices, and to actually create a bridge between myself and the brothers and sisters over there that I was talking to. So I posted that video before I even left for Africa. I'm pretty sure I posted that video in February and then uh, uh, it started to pick up a little traction on TikTok, but it wasn't until I got back from the continent and touched back down at home in April where, we, uh, uh, where it started going viral. It's May right now. And I just started getting like in the last week, all these ads from people that was posting the video from TikTok as a reel. And the good thing is when you bring a video from TikTok, it keeps your ad in it and everything. So I was getting credited from all these gigantic pages. It probably garnered anywhere between three and five million views if you add how many views that mine got. Actually, yeah, on, on TikTok, mine got a, a 1.1 million views. So probably closer to five million views total for all of the times it's been shared and however many views it has on all of these pages, even to the point where SZA posted your boy in her story. I'ma knock my dang, my dang MIDI keyboard down. Since I posted your boy in her story, it wasn't my direct page link, but it was a page that posted me. My face was in her story and she related to the video. Um, and yeah, SZA is an artist I really respect, you know what I mean? So it's just dope that a piece of content that I have is a part of a big conversation within the black community. And I'm looking in the comment sections and I'm seeing people talk and debate and come to peaceful resolutions about, yeah, we need to stop coming up with all these stereotypes and realize the bigger picture that our wealth and our greatness is being exploited and we need to be the first benefactors of that. So let's unite, set aside our differences, figure out what we're similar in and learn from each other. And that is a beautiful thing to see. And the fact that a piece of media for me was used to start that conversation is just like really humbling. Not only that, it's perfectly on par and on brand with everything that I'm discussing musically right now. Like, I wouldn't say that my main and only focus is like, you know, black and uh, African-centered topics in my music. I mean, I do a little everything. You gotta balance the ratchet and the righteous. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a one trick pony. But that is something that whenever I'm focused on any particular topic, I dive in and I can cover it pretty well. And uh, black and African, this is a part of my identity. So, you know, I'm gonna talk about that. And that really helped because when people came over to my page, they seen that the conversation, you know, didn't just end with, you know, oh, I'm a meme and I just happened to go viral. No, I was just in Africa. I was posting all of these uh, 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 videos and, and insights about Tanzania and my trip and the culture and the experiences. And then my music, you know, big ups, black people, black women, you know, our culture, our power, all of that. You know, so it just really made sense of the timing of everything. So it's helping me to build more fans and it's helping, you know, like my wholesomeness to stick with people, to be like, yo, I really rock with this dude because they get a chance to see everything I'm doing and, and how really authentic I'm being. I'm not trying to just paint a false picture to people. I'm being myself and, and everything you see, you know, is just a piece of me that I'm, I'm trying to put out there in the best way possible. And the fact that people can see it in a positive light and it can benefit me as well as other people, that's a big blessing. So that's one thing you can definitely expect to see from this channel. I'm gonna be talk, uh, tackling those tough topics in whatever way I can, whether it's musically, through a video, through a skit, 
through a whatever. I want to be able to start those conversations. Eventually, I'll do something like start a podcast, but you know, I'm getting a lot of things set up. There's a lot of good things happening in my life right now, musically um, and business-wise. Um, the table's being set for success. I don't want to talk about those things too much because sometimes you got to wait for a flower to bloom before you brag about it. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's, that's why a lot of things are just, you know, I haven't been able to just streamline a lot of my creative content and processes because I'm building, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to something. But yeah, my goal is to impact everybody. You know, I want to make sure that these are conversations uh, uh, that are, are being had in our community. So if that sounds like something you'd be willing to support, definitely make sure you drop a like on this video. Please subscribe. And uh, yeah, I got more videos to come. Y'all can celebrate this victory with me. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, and uh, you can visit the merch store, cop you some J Nation merch, you feel me? Hopefully the camera ain't blurry. Um, but yeah, thank y'all for watching this video so much. Y'all have a good day. J Pits, out.